fiddling around with the Electrofreaks breakout boards and some buttons to make some things happen. Now I have two different kinds of buttons here. They're both arcade buttons. Um, they're, they do the same thing. They both have two inputs, two pin kind of thing. Um, so alligator clips for those, female end for the uh, breakout boards. I have them plugged into pin 13 and 14. Um, one goes to the signal pin, one goes to the ground pin. It's just the way buttons work with the logic. Um, I think I, something about the pins are always hot. So it's always reading a one because when I was trying to use it, you know, when I, I tried to plug it into the voltage and the signal and then use the button to, uh, so, you know, send, send, you know, voltage to the signal. It was always, um, it was already on basically. So I flipped over to ground, um, and switched my logic to be when I make it go to zero, which is ground, um, then make something happen. So I'll talk more about that in a moment. I just got a little thing on here. I'm still using the arrays, and that's also why I went up to pin 13 and 14, because of all the conflicts down here on all these pins. Um, that they are part of the LED array. They're button A and B. Um, they're analog. I don't want to use analog on a button, because the button's zero and one, basically. It's on and off kind of thing. Um, so if I was not using this array, I could have used, you know, pin zero, one, two, three, four, five, six kind of thing. But I wanted to just demonstrate with the array. Like if you want to use a motor, um, and then have it run, I, then I could have used pins down in the the conflict range, basically. Um, and I also picked thirteen and fourteen because it's the same pin on uh, both boards so we see what happens on both boards uh, so here we go it's just starting so if I press this makes that that symbol show up and if I press this make a different symbol show up and those are my two choices and for some reason on the the just the breakup board it occasionally has that glitch where it just pops back to the other symbol Again, could be the power weak on that. See what's flashing back and forth, and it shouldn't do that. I don't know why it's doing that. It wasn't doing that on the other board, so I don't know what I got to figure out there. But see, so yeah, I press it, still just stays hard. Press that, goes to box. So now we'll switch over to the other board. Um, see how it's automatically just flipping as if it's saying those pins are high those pins are hot so we're going 13 and 14 so I'm gonna switch over my pin so good now I'm going to the motor bit board this button it goes to heart if I press that button it goes to box heart box and that's on this board it doesn't do that occasional uh, glitch watch it glitch right now um, I don't know why again the first thing would be do you have fresh batteries that that's always the first thing to look at heart box so again, I am plugged into signal and ground, not power, because it tends, it tends it looks like it's being high already. Uh, the code, simple code. Again, on start, just you know, give me a little dot in the top left to know that we're working, and then if the pin is. If digital read pin 13 goes to zero, then do something. If digital, digital pin go 14 goes to zero, do something else. Again, if I put one in there, it's it's always on one. It's it, they, they, they come, they're uh, set high to begin with. 
So that's why we're plugging into signal and ground to uh, when I press the button they go low. So that's some buttons. You can use buttons to run all sorts of things. Again, buttons are digital, not analog. Analog would be numbers from 0 to uh, 1023, whereas digital is 0 or 1, on or off.